Well, hello again. I decided to make a part two because there were a few more things that I, <laughs> I felt like needed to be shared. Again, this is for entertainment purposes and the family is already receiving backlash about this interview. It's utterly disgusting. But at the end of this video, I will discuss a little bit more of my thoughts about it. And then of course we can continue the dialogue in the comments. Let's get started. I was watching her and I was watching Harry and there was something in my opinion missing in their eyes. It didn't seem real to me. Well, of course not, Samantha Markle. A crazy person won't know what real is when it's willing right towards them. <laughs> I would never want a person like this as a sibling. She deserves all the disrespect for her disrespect. I move on. Would have been nice to be invited. For my dad. Oh, for you and your brother as well. I mean, there are mm -hmm. plenty of spare places in the pews. George Clooney scored a spot. Yeah. For her dad. Yet she was the one saying how she was rolling her ass to the United Kingdom and going to be sitting outside of the wedding venue, Windsor Castle, waiting for her invitation. What a pile of bullocks! And uh, I certainly spent a lot of my life with her. And... Uh, I don't know how she can throw all it away. Thomas, what point do you not understand that selling out your daughter for money and allowing your other two children, especially your other daughter, to trash talk her? What is what what is not clicking with you with that? I move on. No phone call. No. How long has it been now? It, it's been four years. So just radio silence. Exactly. If she doesn't turn up for a stroke, if that doesn't move her, what would? Your loyalty to her as a parent, like her mother has been? You did the unthinkable and you think that should garner sympathy. Dad didn't do anything. And it's just, she just woke up one day in a new world and decided that she doesn't have any family. Yes, this is him in jail, Thomas Marco Jr. Megan just woke up one day and cut everybody off. <laughs> In my opinion, she would still be a waitress if it wasn't for dad. You're still trying to make it big off your little half-sister's name. So what's your excuse for being the person you are? Daddy didn't love you enough? This interview did not help them in one bit. It made it worse for them, in all honesty. I have no sympathy for Thomas Markle. And effectively, what he was trying to do is garner sympathy from the public to be on his side. We already know what you did. And Samantha and Thomas Jr. are a hot mess in themselves. Whew. Anyways, let's continue the dialogue in the comments. Bye.